hey everybody it's scott omato back for episode eight of my heat and climate let's play guys the sun's getting ready to set on spring so it'll be the first day of summer in heat and climate but it's day uh, 101 actually in uh the seasons mod serene seasons because it started on day 41 so that's 60 days later so we won't actually get the the heat update until day 101 but i want to show you that for summer we're going to switch the resource pack all right so uh, i have monsterly 32 and i have the spring add-ons and there's add-ons for every season uh, and so we're going to add the summer add-on now all right and it basically takes away the flowering trees gives a little bit different color map uh, more like orangish type of sun warmer type of feel to the lighting uh you know seems hotter and our temperature in tough as nails will change uh i don't think it gets very extreme really in plains but it, it definitely will change uh so that's something we we'll have to watch for but again that's on day 101 because of day 41 so anyway uh my resource pack taking a while all right there we go so there is summer uh in the monsterly pack so again back to all green trees um i'm supposing that if serene seasons is working correctly then the crop should change a little bit uh, i did harvest potatoes and all that uh to get the last of what we can but anyway let me show you what i've done here i didn't have a lot of time to do it uh because of the season change but this is what i've got so far so it looks pretty good I think um, I like the birch here for sure. Uh, those jungle trap doors are okay. It gets the right feel, I think. And then this extension of the jungle uh, mirroring that is not bad. Kind of like it. I had it just over the windows itself and it didn't look right. So uh, I altered this top. It wasn't right for my design. Those uh, walls, I cleared out the ones, but they go like that. So that's a cool little pattern. And we're going to make the lamp real quick. The paper lamp. Okay, I've got to get used to this orangish lighting. I actually kind of like it. Uh, but it does take a little bit of getting used to. And that's cool. To actually feel a switch in the season. Uh, and the texture pack should support... All right, let's see. We need a white color drop. We should get a achievement for this, I believe. Yeah. Magic of color achievements. Okay. Another one we can make is the green drop, which we'll want to do that uh, because we can use it for an excavation tool I'd like to make. So the Lotus, I actually have planted now. Now let's see, we don't have serpentine. I believe we have malachite, I think. Let's check. Let's try to make a green drop because that, that was the whole reason I went to the desert uh, to get that cactus, uh, also to get the jasper. Um, do we have Malachite? Yeah, we've got how many? Five. Okay. Uh, so let's grab those. Uh, olivine, I don't think works, but all I really need is one. Uh, so let's keep one and, and put the other back. Okay. There. And mix it with a, a cactus. So I have to cook a cactus real quick. Yeah, that looks cool from a distance. I, I want to make that paper lamp. We're going to do that real quick that goes on the top because uh from this i let's see i made the white drop and along with gunpowder it makes glowstone so that that's pretty good we have some gunpowder uh let's see how many it makes i didn't know, i don't know that i have three of them that i got from the recipe all right, so each one makes one glowstone. So we need to make uh, another one, another set. So chasledoni and bone meal. And that's not bad at all. Recipe. Uh, so this and that. And we'll get, I just want enough uh, for right now since I know how to make it. Uh, so we should be able to make our glowstone. Okay, and then let's look at the paper 
Uh, let's go ahead and make the green drop real quick while we're just while we have it up. So it is that in a cactus uh, cooked. So cactus would be up here. We can grow cactus now, at least when the season switches and sugar cane. Um, I haven't really missed them that much. I gathered enough. Yeah, let's grab that real quick. All right, come on, bay. And bam. Okay, so this and that should give us the green drop. And then the green drop makes an awesome item. Uh, ring of some kind of ring. Green gold ring. That green gold ring. So gold and a quartz dust, and the quartz dust is one of these chasaldonies. Uh, probably work in the mill too. Let's run it through the mill. I get a little bit more out of it. Uh, run it. All right. So I've been running a little bit of press cake. Just the seeds extra seeds you can run and get some of this dro drops and press cake not much i think it takes eight seeds per so let's put one of these guys in here and we get quartz dust out of that all right and this is an awesome item uh, it will help us to get diamonds and we need the lapis so now that we have a building, we'll do a enchantment room, we'll do our kitchen, so cooking for blockheads. Uh, let me look at what I'm trying to do here. I need gold, green drop, so gold. One of these, right here. Yeah, I've only got two lapis, that's pretty sad. But again, going down to, let's just uh, look it in. Okay. Like such. So this gives us an awesome tool, guys. This is a bobble. Uh, so it'll go into our bobble slot into the ring slot. All right. And then when we hit X, it'll tell us ores below us. So we can go through and search for ores. Iron, coal, or salt, salt, white ore. There's more white ore down there. Iron, gold. Iron. Oh, lapis. There's lapis down there. I can get that. Uh, redstone. Oh, coal. Old. Not falling the hole right there. Uh, redstone. Let's see if around that hole. Iron. Oh, don't see any diamonds yet. Uh, let's see. Gotta be diamonds somewhere. Oh, right here. So yeah, diamonds down there. So I'm gonna put a little block here and mark that and then go down and check that that's right. Okay, wow. I did not expect that it would take that long to find it. But okay, so that gives us the, the white drop that gives us glowstone. So let's make that lamp. Uh, decorated paper lamp. So it's just a paper lamp, which I should have some paper yeah, and a sapling afterwards. Uh, so make this guy, all right. And then a sapling, uh, let's see, I got a bunch of them. Okay. Make that guy. All right, so that's gonna go on top as like the capstone. I think it's fitting for the theme. You know, we may put some inside. There's some really cool lighting uh, options in uh, this mod in heat and climate. Get up there, here. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that looks nifty. Yeah, yeah, that works for me. Uh, we'll need to do some more lighting and stuff along here, of course. Uh, 
I should be far enough from the village. I need to make a marker. Can't see it from that angle. But I need to make a, you know, a marker at the village so I can measure. But we should be far enough away that at night, the villagers, so. There's only gonna be certain angles you can see it, but it lights it up. Um, okay, so let's, before we go to uh, sleep, let's look at tan temp info. And see it says season plus two. All right, and so that should be late spring. Uh, this is a HUD that's added by Tough as Nails. So season plus three, so it switched over. So it's now summer in the seasons mod. gonna do burn up he's probably got a lip under here I'm surprised I didn't save him uh, but yeah so we will get hotter now a bit uh, but you can see the armor gives us plus one so this stuff that we're wearing or minus one so we're getting some cooling from the armor uh, and that's nice uh, but yeah I won't leave that on but yeah, I could see the, the world refresh too. So uh, the grass should shift in hue a bit. It, it already did by the texture pack, uh, but there's summer now. So yeah, I'm hotter. I can already see I'm a bit hotter. Uh, crop growth and stuff should change a little bit. All right, so guys, we got two really cool items. Let's look at this spinning wheel. That's this the spinning machines. The next thing we're gonna wanna do uh, brass spindles, I don't think I have. Uh, let me put up my decorative items for right now. Uh, green drop, I'll put up in the building there for right now. Let's see, let me put up all the decoratives. This and that. Right. These. What do I got? I got wood dust. Okay. Uh, so bone meal here yeah. and potatoes so I don't have that many potatoes but I mean they don't just stop growing they're just more fertile um, at least according to its tooltip which I tend to believe so all right let's put the rest of the stuff up uh, but that ex that uh, tool for prospecting is really cool uh, let's check our achievements. Uh, again, we're going toward the cloth ones now. So if I look at the achievements here, I'm, you know, up to tier three stuff. So steel shafts, uh, they're still wanting me to make windmills. I did make this alloy spindle. I just, well, no, I got it. All right. Yeah. Uh, better achievements is showing this. So it'll unlock the ones ahead of you. Uh, so, you know, we just need to get in the crusher. Uh, all this kind of stuff. The cloth one, we need to get that. Uh, we do have some cloth, uh, these, but I do want to go ahead and make the spinning machine. And then I'll show you, you know, if you start early in the game with the spinning machine, like you don't get stuff, I'll, I'll show you a little trick with that. So we just need iron, a brass spindle. I have some brass. Uh, yeah, we should be good. All right, let's make that. I'm sure we need wooden spindles. So we need how many wooden spindles? Four. For sure. Let's make those. Uh, okay. Yeah, get those. And then get the brass spindle. Here. Okay. And then we should be able to make the spinning machine. Get my iron ingots out. Okay. Okay, so this is obviously a loom type deal that uh, will spin cloth. Let's go ahead and also make a brass hand crank. Uh, we don't necessarily need it, but you know, we might as well part of the mod and you can actually use it along with this fine. So a piece of leather, piece of brass. Yeah, so I've got just enough, one piece of brass. So I'm, I need to make some more. 
and a piece of leather should be in here we don't have a lot of leather um, i should go ahead and show you the recipe that we can use to make leather uh, so this would be the brass hand crank so you know you can use that stand alone uh, so if i put it down pretty cool little model uh, again looks like deco craft so i actually attach the hand crank to it i can of course use windmills and what have you but I put in some string and I, I don't have a lot of wool, but you can tell wool's not gonna be a problem with all the sheep around. But yeah, let's put in four. Didn't get an achievement for putting that down. But yeah, I can put four wool in there and then crank it. And I think it's like halfway around. Now it's super slow. You can see torque is one. Facing west. I don't think the facing matters in this, but I believe it's about halfway around like that. A uh, little bit more. Maybe all the way around. Yeah, pro all the way around. Yeah. So all the way around would produce. It's actually a little bit more than that. Even. So it's super slow, but you know, if you're not doing a whole lot, uh, but all right, so we got that advancement for clothing materials and we made cotton string. Okay, now, like I said, if you, for some reason, happen to, uh, not get some cloth or whatever, but you find one of these. A simple little trick. You need a wrench, though. So, you know, say you got a wrench and no cloth. Is you can just hook it up to this guy. Like, put it up here. Like that. And just rotate. That. There you go. So, you'll get good torque from that. I didn't get more string. Uh, another thing we can use is linen. Let's do that. Let's make some linen. So basically it is linen string, which is grass. All right, so four grass or a hay bale will make two of them. Uh, but, so I have a craving for eggs in concati. Let's check that out. We're getting near to where we could start to match some of these. So an egg and a spinach. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, do a quick, uh, is it just an egg? I didn't even know that that was that simple. Yeah, so not even cooked or anything. So egg and spinach. See, there's all kinds of simple recipes, but you know, you just kind of have to go through them and figure it out. Now that we've got a building, we'll really figure out food. So I've got this set to where you have a day, one day to fulfill the quest of spinach that's cool that'll give us another food all right eggs in kotki kati i don't know how you say it but there you go nice so can we get the get an effect hey guy oh i i, I didn't see it it must have been when I was around mining, but I just missed it. But anyway, it had introduced us to a new food. It didn't punish me in a way that I really noticed. Sometimes you'll just get weakness for a short period of time. Uh, let's grab some grass, guys. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit of a around the, you know, a little bit messy. But grass is all over. Got us 25. That should be fine. Takes four per. Need to fill this hole. Today's the day, guys. Seize the day. Yeah. Fill that hole. Want to make pass and everything. Uh, all right. So we have spinning machine up here. So it's super fast or pretty fast. So there's linen string. And, you know, for most things you need like four or so. 
And I already have some. Uh, for a cloth, you need four. Let's do eight more. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, grass is everywhere, depending on where you are. Uh, and then I think you just do that. Yeah, and you get a linen cloth. And so it can be used in a lot of clothes. Now, see, I can make a saddle. I actually do want to do that. And it was only linen for that. So I can make paintings. Uh, it acts as wool. So grass, you can potentially make wool. Uh, you can make a lot. And there's a lot of little neat recipes in here if you just dig through and figure them out. But it's used in a lot of the crafting of the armor and stuff. So we'll go through and look at all that stuff. But um, a cotton hat. Let's look at that. Um, change our wardrobe a bit. So it's cotton, a, one, any string, and a paper pattern. So let's see. I put up my paper. Go ahead and get the cotton. Cotton you saw is just the wool, the regular string, but we already have some. Uh, and you can make it from cotton itself that you farm. Yeah, let's go and look at that. Another day is passing. All right, so let's see. Let's make this guy. Uh, the paper is somewhere. See, I had paper. Did I use it all up? Let me go to sleep real quick, guys. I should have more wood chips, if not. Yeah, I got more wood dust. So let's see. Where did it go? Right here. All right, yeah, let's make a little bit. got a charcoal that we made early on remember we made a box of charcoal and this guy uh, the clothing and the mod like I said that that's just a neat little flare to it uh, so there we go string and a hat so now we got a cotton hat uh, and we can dye it let's dye it black Could dye it red, um, or maybe not. Let's see. I'm pretty sure you can dye it, or it might be black already. Let's check it out. It might be black. Yeah, it's already black. All right, that's fine. There we go. A little top hat. Not quite as uh, dominating as the other one. We'll wear it for a while. So it has heat two, cold three. The other one has heat two, cold two, so it's a little bit better on cold. Uh, not as quite good on heat. Or actually, like I said, better on heat. Or the same on heat. Same on heat, a little bit better in cold. All right. So that's cool. Got that stuff done. Uh, we might as well look at, while we're doing it, uh, let's get some rotten flesh. All right. Let's get eight of them. Uh, let's get 16 actually. All right, and we'll make two boxes. So you make a box of rotten flesh. Let's take this out for now. And we'll make a box of rotten flesh like that. Two of them. All right now, this guy in climate smelting, you can make a bone box, a box that has gives you eight bones. If you use kiln temperature or smelting temperature. Uh, normal uh, humidity and wind. All right, we don't have normal wind. So basically, you just need to smelt it, have a kiln, smelt it. So let's do that. So I guess that'll burn it down to its bones. Let's do one of them. We can do it in here. that well I'll get hot real hot here 
Okay, and that should give us the bone box and we can get eight bones. So that's cool. We'll go over and get a cat. Uh, we actually, we need fish for that, but I have fish. Um, and then the other recipe, the other use of it is that you could, if you put it into a kiln underwater wet, all right, then you could get a leather, leather box, all right? So normal flow, any kind of flow, but it just needs to be wet and kiln. So to do that, uh, we can't really get kiln from this. We can get oven. So basically, if we just go here, let's use our climate checker. Should be kiln right there. In fact, I know it is, but I'll, I'll just demonstrate that it is. Uh, and then I have magma blocks too. Uh, let's check that. Magma blocks, I believe, give kiln. Uh, not the flint steel. Uh, the climate checker. All right, let's look at right this block. Yeah, so see it's kiln. So I can put it down. Uh, now let's see. Did, what else did it need? Did it need any? I don't think it needed tight or anything like that. Uh, no. Any kind of open. So just kiln temperature where it's wet. So basically take a water bucket haven't been using very often because I'm used to drinking lemonade but I do need to carry a water bucket let's get some water real quick getting real hungry uh, got steak let's eat that that spinach didn't do much but it's a very simple recipe yeah I, I should go through now and really you know cooking for blockheads obviously is the key to that kind of stuff it would have popped that recipe up for us real quick. Uh, so put some water down here. Uh, now this guy should be wet. Uh, and kiln. Yeah, kiln and wet. So this in here should work. Let's make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So that's leather. So that's easy to make overall. So Rotten flesh for leather and bones. That's pretty nice, guys. That's actually really nice. And so, you know, you could see I just had a lava condition for that. And again, I think magma will do the same. Uh, but we'll check that out because, we're, you know, we're going to be doing some setups. And I'll use magma for those setups. Uh, but anyway, guys, we got a lot of cool little stuff done. Nothing revolutionary. Uh, I do want to show you a couple things like real quick. Uh, so this is the lotus flower. So it grew and it has various states to it. So like, I think I can harvest it now. Uh, where's my shears? Did I use them up? No. Okay. So shear. No, I can't shear it yet, but you can and get a lotus flower or you can get like lotus seeds. There's various states of it. So like lotus seeds have several uses. Lotus root, like if you let it grow a long time, it'll die, die to lotus root essentially. Or you can get these lotus petals. So it's kind of weird like that. And there is weird crops that I don't really understand, honestly. Uh, I need to go look in the source code. The wiki's not of any help, really. But like the seaweed. All right, here's seaweed. But I can't really get it to grow. Now, it has to be underwater. Like if you look at seaweed. Seaweed. All right. Uh, use climate crops. All right. It says that it's got to be cool, cold, cool, normal, or warm. You know, we're fine on all that. We're warm now. So summer is now warm, but it'll grow in summer. And we'll want to review all our crops to see if everything can go. But it has to be underwater. Oh, it has to be tight. But it should be tight. That, that means two blocks down. Use a climate checker. So I should be able to look at this block. Yeah, airflow tight underwater. 
but maybe it can't grow to the next block because it's not tight. Uh -huh. So, all right, let's try it three down because I have never yet seen this grow. Let's grab one as a test and let's actually put it even further like there and see. Now there should be at least two blocks of tight, I would say, but that might be a thing. All my potatoes really grew fast now. Huh. Okay, that's a weird potato. Says uh, here, it's fertile season spring. You know, I, I don't know about that. Um, and these grapes and wisteria, I don't quite really understand them. Well, see, now they've all grown, so maybe it's the summer thing. Yeah, they all grew now. Oh, cool. So now I can harvest the whole thing. So I must be, uh, it must be summer. Let's look at that. Because see, nothing indicates that to me. Great. All right, the crop. Use. Climate crops. Grapevine. Warm. Normal. Cool. Cold. Dry, normal, wind, any of any of those, even tight. But they never grew. All this time sitting here, they never grew. Uh, and but now they did. And there's actually a villager that's trading now. This wisteria, see, like I can't harvest it. And so I've been trying it just to see if maybe there was like a way that it spread. Then if it stopped spreading, it would grow. I, I didn't know. So I tried it like that. And then there's a plant version of it. But I actually got something from that. I'm assuming I got grapes. Although I didn't see them. So I don't know. I don't quite understand everything about that. I think the seaweed, we did figure out that the tightness, and you can't climb them, but they'll go over everywhere. So anyway, that's cool, guys. Uh, we did get some interesting stuff done in this episode. Uh, but, you know, next one we'll start to... Uh, I'll, I'm going to decorate and stuff and create the cooking for blockhead stuff and create probably an enchantment room. I'm only at 24 levels. I'll probably dig around for some lapis and diamonds and that'll probably get my levels up. Um, but anyway, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This is Scott Omato. Have a great day and a good night to you. Bye-bye.